Well, Mr. Cardinal, this is must be the papa of the family because he is definitely red. Or the gray and red bird that has been coming here for the last uh, week or so <clears throat> uh, has really turned red. I don't think it's a trick of the light because the light's not that very, not that good. Let me see if I can turn on a light without scaring the bird off. I have to keep low and out of sight. Well, that made him sit up and look. Maybe the bird is now look at, looking at himself in the reflection of the glass. It could be that this bird is becoming self-aware. Hmm. Aren't you pretty, Mr. Bird? Just swaying in the wind. I guess birds aren't used to um, lights coming on and going off. Yeah, we're calling up two minutes. I saw him flutter in. I didn't have the camera on, but I saw him fly in because I can see the top of the tree here from my desk. But this bird seems to have been frozen a bit and feels maybe danger is available or lurking close by. Oh, guess what? Here comes. The mama bird. Oh, okay. He says, well, I got a sentinel there guarding my back. I guess I can start eating again. This is proving to be uh, a reasonable uh, camera bird setup. I would like to find out if I can get a 4K uh, webcam. And zoom in a little bit. I was trying to set up my my older Sony camera that's uh, high definition but has quite a bit of uh, zoom on it. Eventually I'll be able to figure out how to set that up. There's a squirrel behind the, oh, there's Mama Cardinal off to the left. I'm kind of conflicted about washing the windows because um, I photographed uh, or videoed a frog this morning and it was much easier to get the camera to focus on the frogs because it also focused on the the water spots on the window pane. I don't know what it is about this shrub that the animals like. You know, we had a <clears throat> what I think of as a juvenile rat eating out of this feeder. This is a squirrel buster feeder and um, the squirrels have been quite frustrated so I think they come in 
to get to the get to the seeds that have fallen on the ground. Let's see if they make a, an exchange here with a cur the. Oh, there's the squirrel. Where are you going, squirrel? What the heck are you doing? Oh, there goes the squirrel. There goes the mother bird. Yep, the squirrel chased them all. Oh, nope, there's the mother bird. It's time for Mama to eat. Hello, Mama. What's your name? Do you have a name? Mrs. Orange Beak? Now, interestingly enough, I see red in this bird's tail. So my friend who identified her as a female with red on her was correct. Or at least that's my impression at this point in time. Now you would think that just seeing a bird at a feeder like this is kind of boring. But you have to think of the bird in the context of um, its environment here. Birds only go for seeds when they're available, which is usually the fall, which is coming into this time period. But flowers in Florida tend to bloom and seed all summer. So... Uh, but the normal diet, I believe, of these birds is insects, including caterpillars and flying insects and grubs in the ground. As, as they say, the early bird gets the worm. But these, um, these birds found out about this, this flower that produces all kinds of seeds, a variety of seeds. I call this the... Um, the Sunflower Cafe or the Songbird Cafe, it's, I haven't heard any songbirds out there. Of course, I don't have a microphone, but I think that I would, anyway, I'm getting off the point. The point here is that if you look closely, if you look closely enough, you get to see interesting behavior such as seed cracking. Um, bird approach and uh, bird safety. There was at one point when more than one bird was on the feeder, but I think the cardinals take turns. I thought that uh, they took turns in terms of uh, one watching the other one's back. I was wrong in that I thought the birds always faced outward for protection. But in the last couple videos, these birds uh, were facing the, uh, the window. And it could be that they can both see themselves and look behind them uh, if there is that kind of reflection. I'll have to go out with a camera and see what kind of reflection there is in the window. So we're going up on nine minutes. So we've had a male cardinal, female cardinal, and a crazy squirrel. Now, this bird is attacking the sunflower seeds. I don't know if they're getting all of the seed pulp. You can tell it's a sunflower seed when she has something big and black that fills up her whole mouth. These other seeds are like super small BBs, more like quinoa. I love how they're able to balance. Now 
Now, now she's got a sunflower seed. I don't know if she just dropped it or what, but it didn't look like she had it very long. Now, one of the things that I've learned about sun or these bird feeders is that the seeds that get spilled or dropped on the ground, sometimes if they have the right sunlight and water, they sprout and grow. Not in this location. Now she's got a sunflower. Crack, crack, crack. You can see her mouth really open and she's moving. Yep. She's moving that seed around and around. Oh, there's some chaff. Now she's eating the seed. That's really cool. All right. Adios. That was 11 minutes and 14 seconds of bird feeder.